Hello students. Today we're going to be doing a warm-up, a very fun warm-up. Uh, we're going to write exponential functions and we're going to do page 8.1. Students will be able to write exponential functions from scenarios and so I would like for you to start drawing a realistic tree. So um, I have one in here already and it's like why are you drawing that if that doesn't look like a tree it doesn't have any leaves well the purpose is because i want you to look at how we start with a trunk in this knot we have three branches and then in each branch we have three other branches and guess what would happen after that in each one it will be another three branches okay we're gonna take that uh to write our first function how, what's happening in here? At zero, how many parts do we have? And it's not a branch, right? It's, it's the trunk. We're gonna say that it's one. In the next nod, how many do we have? We have three of them, three of them. The next one, we have nine. And so what do you think the next one is going to be? We're gonna have 27. And the next is gonna be 81. So what's going on? What's the pattern that we see here? We're multiplying by three, right? We're multiplying by three times three, times three, times three, times three. We're gonna call this our initial point. And this pattern right here, it's called the base. And on this side, we're gonna have, like how often this happens? Every nod, right? So it's gonna be, this is going to be our cycle. To write exponential function, we say, for example here, and it can be f of x, right? For the function of x, f of x, but we can also use other variables, so in here we can say, maybe b of n branches and in relation to the nodes right the nodes the kind of like the divisions where we have new branches um so b of n it's going to be my initial point okay we, in here we're going to put the initial point initial point which in this case is one and we're going to multiply by whatever is happening. That's gonna be our base. We're multiplying by three, okay? And we're gonna put always the input over the cycle. And the cycle, we already said that it's, in this case, it goes by one, right? So it's gonna be over one. So let me see, again, the initial point is gonna be the first one. It's triple, it triples every time, so that's my base. And over here is gonna be always my variable over the cycle, okay? So the cycle is right here. So that's how you, you will write uh, an exponential function for something like, like this scenario, what's happening to trees, okay? Now, let me tell you a story. There was a boy, a peasant boy, who saved a princess. The king was so happy to have his princess back, so back that he said, boy, I'm gonna give you anything that you ask as long as it's possible. And the boy said, can you please bring a checker checkerboard? And so, okay, here is the checkerboard. What would you like to do with that? And the boy said, well, if it's possible, King, can I get on the first square one rice? And on the second square, can I please have two grains of rice? 
And on the third one, what do you think it's going to be? Can I have four grains of rice? And on the next one, can I please have eight grains of rice? So what is the boy asking for? One, two, four, eight. What do you think the next one is going to be? The king noticed that and he said, well, there are 64 squares and it looks like it's doable. So yeah, sure, I'll do that for you. So what is happening here? Let's see what's happening. Again, we're just gonna have a zero in here to have our initial point. And then the ne that's next square, next square, next square. four and five and it continues okay until there are 64 uh, squares in the checkerboard so following the example before we know that this is um, one rice one grain of rice two four eight sixteen what's going on how did I get sixteen from one to two, what happened in there? Oh, I multiply times two. Times two, times two. So that means that I'm gonna be multiplying times two. And so in here, it's gonna be 32 and so on. If we want to write our exponential function, and I'm just going to put as f of x. Again, you can use different variables. What is in here? The initial point, which is going to be 1. What goes after that? The base. So we're going to be multiplying by 2 because it's doubling every for every square. And we will always have x, uh, the same input, right, the number of the input, over the cycle. And the cycle, again, is every one. It goes for every one square, okay? So that will be my function. Now, today's point is just to write down your, your function. And you can do this by even writing, what is the initial point? Initial point is one. What is the base? The base is always the pattern, which is two. And what is the cycle? The cycle is one, okay? Every one square. So this is your initial point, your base, and x over the cycle. Now, we're not supposed to figure out specifically how many grains uh, will this peasant boy receive but I just want to do it, do it for the last square so that you can see in reality what's going to happen. So if we want to know at the end how many grains he will receive, we can put the last square is 64, so f of 64. And again, the goal is not to do this, it's just so that you get an idea. The initial point, it doubles every, every cycle and so it's gonna be 64 over one, or just 64. If we use our calculators, that's gonna come up. In fact, some calculators don't even have it. Uh, it's gonna come up. Look at that big number. So this big number in reality represents mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains of rice. There is not such number of grains of rice in the world. So the king would not be able to pay off what he promised the peasant boy, okay? So this smart boy um, was so good in math that he decided to go with something as tiny as rice, but he would have plenty of food to eat, right? Um, so exponential functions, as you can see, it grows a little at the beginning but then all of a sudden, phew, it grows super fast, okay? And we're gonna be looking at graphs later on. Okay, another example, you drop 
a piece of candy. It caught 15 bacteria. And it triples every 20 minutes. Now, if we made a table, how would that look? So it would say, to start with, I have 15 bacteria. It triples every 20 minutes, okay? Every 20 minutes, so it's gonna be zero, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, 80 minutes. What happens every 20 minutes? Well, it triples. It means that it's gonna be multiplied by three, okay? So, in here we're gonna have 45 times three, 135, and I'm using my calculator. For this unit, you can use your calculator. Times three is gonna be 405 times three, that will be 1,215 and so on. Okay, so again, we start with a small number, but look at how quickly it goes super fast up, right? So start by finding the initial point, the base, and the cycle. What is the initial point? So my initial point is 15. The base is the repeated pattern, so it's gonna be three. And the cycle is how often this happens. How often does it triple? It's every 20 minutes. So we're gonna put in here 20 minutes. So for my exponential function, you're gonna write 15, the initial point, times the base, because it triples, right? We're multiplying by three, and x over the cycle, which is every 20 minutes, okay? So that's how my exponential function would be. So that concludes um, today's lesson. I hope you are able to understand it, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.